Hold My Drink with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Loud original podcast. Proudly supported by Primark, dressing to impress has never been easier. Summer 22, it's time to love the feeling with Primark. Welcome back to this week's episode of Home I Drink Extra Juice, which is kindly sponsored by Primark. The ultimate high street destination has everything to get us girls and guys through the perfect summer. Hashtag Love the Feeling is our latest summer campaign that makes you want to snap up all your summer must-haves and be sunshine ready at all times. When you're looking to update your everyday staples, you'll always find the perfect outfit in Primark. However, peak summer season 2022 is upon us and let's face it, there's nothing like that last minute Primark dash to get you in the hot girl summer vibe. I think it's like the dash, because it's like always rushed, it makes you buy even more. I think I it makes could, you... I could have bought the whole shop today. Oh yeah. Well, I think it makes you, whether it's like a holiday or like us, the dash that we have to do for the live shows, live show. it gets you excited for what you're doing. It's like yeah. your, pe- your your pennies trip is your last thing that you do before you kind of go. Yeah, you keep your little space in your suitcase for the pennies. Yeah. The so it's bit. like, that's when whatever you're doing kind of starts is when you do the dash. Oh, that's true. Isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. very true. So this season, it's all about eye-popping brights and standout lemon prints to glam up your wardrobe. So whether you've got one-way tickets to your dream destination booked or are planning to let your hair down at the local festival this summer, Primark will satisfy all of your styling needs with plenty of fun and affordable options. Dressing to impress has never been easier. Summer 2022, it's time to hashtag love the feeling with Primark. Head to your local Primark store now to pick up everything from summer sandals, the hottest co awards and all the festival and swimwear pieces that you need. You can also log on to www.primark.com to check out all of their summer pieces before heading into the store. So, Home or Drink Extra Juice, if you're new here, is where we do extra secrets in the stalls, which we do in our main episode, but that seems to be our most popular, oh, definitely. popular segment. So, we decided to do a bonus. Extra juicy bits, yes. Where we answer even more. Well, so, apparently we're half decent at this. You know what? I'm I think so we're just both in this stage of no bullshit. That's so true. Yeah, I think so too. And sometimes you need... But sometimes we also fuck up ourselves. Oh, definitely. Like, Yeah. Definitely. But sometimes I think you might need, like, not advice, but like, yeah, advice from a no bullshit person. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes your brain can be a bit foggy. And also we're not, we don't know these people personally when they come in, so we're, we're able to see it from a different point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what it is as yeah, well. it's different when you ask people who are within your life, like... Yeah. Someone said to me in the question box, they were like... You're such a good head on your shoulders for your age or something. I was like, do I? <laughs> Have you seen what I, yeah. the decisions I make? If you actually knew would. what I was doing? <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know. But like, it's obviously so much easier to give advice. Then take it. Yeah, of course. But we're trying. Trying. We're getting there. Um, so the first one is, how do you stop beating yourself up over past mistakes, especially drunken ones? It's life. It is what it is until it isn't. We said it in last week's episode, like, yeah, it's just life. Yeah, I think if you, I was talking about this, if you just own it, like, mm. don't, like, you're only, it's only embarrassing if you're embarrassed. Yeah. And if you can choose whether you're embarrassed or not. Yeah. You can say, yeah, i done that, and what? And what, like? Yeah, I jumped over a fucking, I don't know, fence. Yeah, I shagged yeah. someone I wasn't meant to shag, but, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, I only did it. And that's it. Ah. Do you know? Like, if you, if you own it and, like, don't, don't overthink it because it happened. Yeah. I'm such an overthinker, but like, you can't change what happened. Mm. It did happen. You either let it eat you up inside and... You can't go back on it now. Like No. Yeah. Unfortunately, as much as sometimes we'd like to, but also things happen for a reason. Things shape you. Mm-hmm. And you might look back and say, oh, shit, I'm glad that happened. Yeah. Because it meant this. Or yeah. like, it led to this. Or yeah, there it might ta- be or a- taught me this. Taught you, yeah. yeah. Sometimes drunken mistakes are just things and... You're young, you're loud, make yeah. mistakes. No one's perfect. Especially Nobody's when, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're drunk. Your yeah. brain isn't 100% there, kind of, so. No, definitely it's not. Definitely not. God, yeah. I think, although if it's like a common theme where you're always making mistakes, then mm. maybe like look deeper into like, why am I making these mistakes? Yeah. But like once in a while, we all make mistakes. Yeah. We're not perfect. No. Definitely not. I've been speaking to a boy for 10 months, so long I know, and he finally asked me to be his girlfriend. He's never had one before and he keeps telling his mom to stop asking him questions about me and still hasn't brought me to meet her. He always says he loves his own bed and never wants to sleep with someone else and I don't think he realises all of these things matter to me in a relationship. I don't know how to approach it since he's never been in a relationship. By the way, I love the podcast. Mm. I sleep in the same bed. I love sleeping in the bed with someone. 
Oh, I don't. I love it. I'd be a bit like that now. I sleep better with someone than on yeah, my own. I yeah, know, like a starfish. In no, the bed. if I sleep with, like, if I sleep in a bed with someone for like a few nights, when I go back to my own bed, I get like sleep paralysis. Not really. Yeah, yeah. I'm like on my own. I'm like, oh. I just love my bed. Yeah. Like that's the one thing of when me and Dan woke up. Like I wasn't even obviously so sad about the relationship, whatever. But like I said, You're it like, to, I, I have said, my bed. I said it to myself. Yeah. I was like, I actually don't miss you in the bed when yeah. I'm asleep. And he's like, thanks. I was like, thanks, thanks, really. I was like, not in a bad way. I just love my own space mm. in that sense. But um, I don't know. Like, is he even telling his mom about you? Why haven't you met her yet? Yeah, ten months very long. I just t- think you have to be so careful listening to what people say because they can tell you everything they mm. want. Where like. He's probably saying, oh, my mom keeps asking me to keep telling her to stop. But like, maybe she's not even asking because he hasn't told her. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's not inviting over to stay in the beds. Like, I just be so wary of people sometimes. Yeah. Although I'm very trusting, but I'm also... Your guard is up. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You need to tell him, like, that these that, are things that, that they matter. matter. Yeah. yeah. He that might they, think that that they don't matter to you and that's that's why he's just doing them. Like, but. Oh, I didn't. I missed the part where he did finally ask her to be his girlfriend. They're together now. Yeah, because it, it's obviously like not his love language at all for like cuddles and beds. Yeah. But for you it is. You have mm. to kind of t- talk to him about that. Because mm. how is he supposed to know? Yeah, they can't. Like no, can't mind mind reads. Reads. no, yeah. no. That's what I was thinking as well. Yeah. Um, I think just be like here. I'd love to like stay over sometimes or like have sleepovers. Hi, can we have a sleepover? Yeah. What would you say, like? Cop on, I'm sleeping with you. What are you talking about? Yeah. No, I'm just, that was main of me. So they never had a sleepover in 10 months. I wonder if he stayed in her house. Yeah. Or has he met her mum and dad or whatever? Yeah, whoever. I know. I'd just be like, if you're in person, I'd just be like, oh, I'd, like, it'd be cool if we could stay over more together. Because mm. I like being with you, like. Yeah. But then you also have to respect the other person if that's not something they like. Mm. But it's compromise. Yeah, exactly. Which is what a relationship should be. A compromise, yeah. Yeah. These both have to do things for each other and not that, think But also you don't want to lie beside him and know that he doesn't want you in the, in the bed. Imagine. Do you know what I mean? He'd be fuming lying beside you in the bed. I don't yeah. even want her here. Yeah. I don't dump know. It's, him, a, it's a sticky one. Yeah. Maybe he should stay in your house. Yeah. At the start or something. and Like maybe he's fine with him staying with her in her house, but. Yeah. I don't know. But then you don't want to get into the habit of that and then it's always your house. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, I don't like that. Mm. So it does be every race though. There's one house you're always in more. Yeah, oh yeah, time. yeah. But th- she said in it that he said he never wants to sleep with someone else. Does he like you? Does he? <laughs> does he like the never wants to sleep with? Us. No, but some people they just aren't into that. Yeah, I don't know. I think just to express to him how you maybe feel he would about like him. if he hasn't been in a relationship though. Maybe he doesn't know if he likes you or not. Yeah. Maybe you just think so. I wouldn't like someone in my bed, but like, if you love someone, you w- I think you sh- well no, you shouldn't want. Not that you should want it, but mm. you should want to make them happy as well. Yeah, do you know? So maybe he's just. And if you just went on to get married, what would you do? Get several rooms, like maybe he's just clueless to how you feel. Yeah, yeah. I bring it up just really casually, and then see where it goes from there. Mm. Maybe say can we have a sleep over tonight? If he's like, oh, I don't want it. You sleep in my bed. I'd be like, here. Why? Come on, yeah. Yeah, just feel like I want that. I feel close to you when I do yeah. that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Next one is quite a long one. So, hey girlies, I have a little dilemma of my own. I need advice on what to do. So about three nights ago, I met a man on a night out and it was a one night stand. And that was all I wanted to do to only ending a serious relationship about six months ago. We ended up getting each other's Snapchat. So he's been texting me all day, every day since we met. And we continue to keep meeting up until recently he told me he's going back to his ex-girlfriend. And we won't be able to meet up anymore, which I thought was fine. Because he didn't want me to start that he isn't with his girlfriend anymore. But he also wasn't sure what was really happening. So I guess since he was going back to her and that he will delete me on Snapchat. And that and not talk to me anymore, which I'd kind of gotten upset about. Because I'd gotten used to talking to him. But no, he's continued to text me every day and all day. And I reply even though I know it's wrong. And I would hate my boyfriend do that to me. So I guess what I'm asking is, how do I get over him? Are you crazy for liking him in such a short space of time? I can't stop thinking about him and I can't help but feel excited every time he texts me. Please help me, girls. Oh, That's a sticky one. That is tough. What would you do? What would I do? I think you're only going to end up hurting yourself. In the long run? In the long run. I think it's going to be shit, like, having to stop talking to him because you're so used to it and you are so mad about him. But, like, I feel like an ex always has an upper hand over a new person in a way. Yeah. It's an ex. I mean, no matter how 
much an amazing person you are, that ex has probably years on you. As yeah. In, like, it, years of, of memories. Yeah. I think they're always going to win. It's always in a way, not e- win, but like easier to get back. Not easier to get back with the ex, but easier for the ex girlfriend to get him back than it is for him to stay with the new girl. Yeah, I think. unless he's proper like done, done. Whatever, yeah, like what the fuck. But like obviously he still wants to be with her. I would say stop texting him. Yeah, as hard as that. Cut is. ties now. It'd be. It's gonna be. You're gonna end up looking back thinking it's easier to cut the ties now than way down the line and it getting even more sticky with the girlfriend and fucking yeah. yeah no and why let him have his cake and eat it too yeah you don't deserve like he wants to go back to her that's he's not a bad person for doing that you can do that whatever you, if he wants that makes him happy but he also can't be having the excitement of a new person and going back to the ex yeah Pick, choose one yeah don't be greedy don't text both like it's not fair mm. it's not fair at all and the girlfriend wouldn't want him doing that and I'm not sure fair the girlfriend. No, yeah. yeah. And you feel like you're this girl for, with the dilemma, like she'd be always questioning herself and thinking, oh, like maybe you will, like one day turn around and want me again. Mm. And it would kind of be like, it would grate on your confidence, I think, and yourself. It would work. weigh on you, like, yeah, you'd yeah. be waiting on that nearly. You'd be in, you feel like you're in competition with someone you yeah. don't even know. Yeah, yeah. And this man has you, maybe not purposely, but like in a mental competition with each other mm. that you don't even know well she doesn't know about you but so he's getting to still talk to you and be back with his ex he's getting best of both worlds why yeah, would he yeah. have to do that yeah. like if you're you're letting him do that if it's ha- if it's there in front of him he's going to do it anyway yeah. so you need to take control I'm going to do it anyway yeah. <laughs> did you ever see that no <laughs> what is it I don't know it's just they say it and everything they so accept yeah oh. it just keeps going well he um, yeah you need to take back control and power and don't let him have the ability to be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. It will be hard at first, but in the long term, you look back and be like, what the fuck was I doing? Yeah. He chose That's else. not, and an ex is not something you want to get mingled in with. No. As much as you might think, I think you think in your head, you're like, oh, but I'm like, I'm not that deep in whatever, but you're also secretly hoping that they'll pick you. Mm. That's just a human nature thing to do. Yeah. You want, you're like, your ego is like, nearly like, no, but he'll, he might end up maybe he's yeah, talking yeah, to yeah. me. But your ego will be more bruised in the long run if yeah, you keep doing this. If you this. keep doing that and he doesn't pick you or he yeah. doesn't run away with you like you want. Yeah. Even though you admit to yourself that you want that, but that's probably what you do want. Mm. We're brilliant. Fuck men. <laughs> Fuck is all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think get out while you you still can. It seems like they've been talking three months, but like that's a short time compared to if, yeah. if it's another few months and you're deeper, deeper in. Mm. And it's going to keep getting more and you're and more putting more time into it, like... Yeah, exactly. So the next one is... Met a guy when I was out and I approached him first and shooted my shot. We get on like a house on fire and we are together. Oh, when we are together and have met up a few times. But it's always me, but it's always me making the effort to meet up. I really like this boy and when we meet up and are together, it's perfect. But when we're not together, I don't hear from him. He's told me he's not a texter, so I don't know what to do. He has said that he really likes me, but I really don't know what to make of it or think of it. Any help would be appreciated. Your podcast is my life and I love the both of you. Oh, <laughs> love you. Do you think some people, I think we talked about this before, do you think some people just genuinely aren't texters? Like, Yeah, because I suppose I don't like texting. But, I'll do, but the difference is like, I don't really like texting, but I'll do it if someone wants that. Like, it's like... Someone who just sees you when it's obviously convenient to him, it's giving me red flags. Yeah. It's giving, it's giving red flags. It's always her that has to, or, like, arrange the meeting up. Or yeah. If, at least if you're not a good texter, arrange a meet-up yourself, pal. Yeah. Pal? Pal? Who? <laughs> Bro? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. at least, like, a ring or something. Like, I don't know. Show something, like. You're literally giving him all the benefits of, like, seeing someone or, like, Without having to do like the work of texting them. Mm. You're literally letting them skip all that. Yeah. Which, like, if for someone's not a texter, like, that's ideal. But also, it's like, no. No. Red, it's giving red flag. Like, she literally does not hear from him when they're not. Like, is together. he just not into it? Like, do you think? It's very, I think it's like her. When they meet, it's perfect. But to her, because she finally gets to see him because she hasn't talked to him in weeks. Oh. Uh. Maybe she's just thinking it's perfect. Yeah. But if he obviously wasn't into it, he wouldn't go and see her. Maybe it's convenient to like just see her and have a good time with someone and not 
feel that little loneliness for a few hours if he ha- if he is lonely. And then when he's not with her, doesn't speak for her. No. And maybe he has a few girls like that, so he doesn't have to text someone all the time. Swindler. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We know a few swindlers. We do. Um. Yeah, I don't know how much I would buy his story of not being a texter and stuff. Yeah. Like, he can ring it. I think if, yeah, because if you like someone, like, you want, think about when you first fought, like, fall for someone. Like, yeah. when you're younger and you're, like, oh, like, so excited about them. You'd obviously want to communicate of some sort. Like, yeah, you're giddy to talk not, to Yeah, you're, like, yeah. waiting on their next text. You're, like, oh, get a little butterfly trying to text you, like. Yeah. Obviously, I think you'd want that, like. And he's just not showing that. No. And I think if you're the one meeting up with him all the time, like, again, for, like, the last time, like, someone leaves you questioning yourself, that's when you should leave. Yeah. That's when the ball's in your court because you're not being treated the way you should be. Yeah, and like questioning yourself is the worst thing because that spirals into like having not enough confidence and overthinking and like no little man is worth... Little man. No little dick energy man is worth that. No. You're your own home and you need to treat yourself like that. Yeah. So if someone's giving you not good behaviours then... If they're not giving you 100%. Yeah. I think you know what a good thing to do? I need to do it myself actually. Because I need to write out, like, a list of things that I, like, won't negotiate on in, like, if something comes up in the future with a yeah. relationship. Like, boundaries. Right. So things I literally, because I have boundaries in my head, but I don't really know how clear they are. Like, so, say if I say, if he does this, I'll walk away. If he does this, like, stuff like that. Mm. Or, like, things that you will not accept. Yeah. And have them very clear in your head. And then if someone does something to overstep them, gone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? These are and nearly, like, my it, rules. Your rule, yeah. yeah. Because you have to have your own personal boundaries of, like... It's like if someone comes into your house and you have a boundary of like you have to take your shoes off. Yeah, and they like, don't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a respect you know do, thing. It's right respect. Now. And yeah. it's like that's you have to respect yourself to have them boundaries for yourself. Yeah. And see your worth like that. Do you know? Yeah. So I'm going to write out a list when I go home. Are you? Yeah. Do it. Things that I will not accept in the future. future relationship. Yeah. And then you have yourself to hold accountable if you do accept them. Yeah. You can be like, we're not leaving it in someone else's And you'd be like, yeah, you'd be like, why did I accept that? Mm. What makes them them allowed to disrespect me and I'm... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're just putting up with it. Yeah. Listen. Fucking God. Son. You're doing great. So that was it for Hell My Drink Extra Juice. Extra Juicy bit. These come out every Monday. Yeah. And we try to give you the best advice possible. But we're I not viable. We're not viable. Like we said, take it with a pinch of salt. We haven't been through every situation either. No. To but, know. Yeah. I feel like you can always give better advice when you have, but... We do try to Im- imagine and we have friends who venture things and all that. So hopefully we do help you, son. We'll see you Wednesday for the main episode. Mm-hmm. Love, you. Love you. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.